Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new here, my name is Sherry. Today's video is going to be a Zara haul. Now it's only a few pieces but again I'm just trying to pick pieces that I'm missing in my wardrobe or that I feel like are good for the autumn winter transitional period. Let's just get started. First things first is this white knit jumper. I've been looking for something like this for so long I thought I could find it vintage but to find something like this vintage is quite specific and I haven't been able to find anything yet but I found this on the Zara website. I got this in a size large and it was $27.99. The actual feel and the quality of the fabric is amazing. This gives me very much like cashmere vibes, very expensive, gives me very Parisian, minimalist. Basically just a perfect piece that I think everybody needs to have in their wardrobe and I would highly recommend going picking this up. I need to check if they do a black version of this because this is exactly what I've been looking for. I did get this oversized, you can obviously just go true to size if you want it a bit more fitting. I wear a sweater most of the time without anything underneath or if I do wear anything underneath it will be a like normal tank top. Whereas I think this would be nice if you have like a bit of a higher neck t-shirt or a shirt, anything like that. I think it will work amazingly. You can pop it over a dress, underneath things if you're thinking of a more modest way to wear maybe a corset or a bodysuit or something like that. You can definitely pop that over this underneath and then have the corset over the top. I think that would be really cool for layering. Anyway, I got this in a size large and it was $27.99. This is really good quality. I'm really very much enjoying this and I'm going to try it on for you. I love this. I think this is perfect. I think everybody genuinely needs this. If you are watching this on your phone, get on your laptop, get this purchased. This is the cream knit jumper. I am obsessed with this. As I said, it's like slightly back winged. The arms are a nice length. It has this like rib detail around the hands and then also around the waistband, but it doesn't like cinch in loads. So you can tuck it in nicely and have it hang. I love this, it's long enough to cover my hands, which I like very much, especially in winter. It gives me very much like cashmere vibes, amazing quality for under 30 pounds. Um, this actually feels very similar to a cashmere jumper I used to own, but Max's mum actually shrunk it in the wash and that was a very sad time. <laughs> it literally came out like this big. Um, so yeah, I would have to double check how to wash this. I don't think this would just be a normal sort of throw it in the washing machine piece. You will have to be careful with that. Everybody needs this in their wardrobe. I feel like this is an understated slash underrated piece that I think everybody needs. And um, yeah, I love this. Again, I'm wearing a size large. I'm usually a size eight on top and a 10 on the bottoms just for everybody's reference. And I am also five five from what I know. I'm just gonna keep this jumper on for the remainder of the video. The next piece I picked up are these grey pants. Now, a lot of you asked me for the grey pants that I'm actually wearing in this video that I featured in my autumn winter transitional staples video. So I am on the hunt for you guys and I feel like I've found a really good dupe for them, maybe. So these are the Francois pants. They are just straight leg. Yeah, full length straight leg. These fit amazingly around the waist, look so flattering on the leg. They have that seam that goes down the front, so it just is super flattering. I love this. If you're looking for something to maybe elongate your legs, I don't have the longest legs. I have a long torso and my legs are not the longest, but we can, that's why we all wear high-waisted stuff. You can see from the try-on clip, they fit incredibly. They have this sort of light grey stitching which isn't really noticeable but obviously in person you can tell has a little tortoiseshell button I think this is a perfect staple piece for everybody to pick up I got these in a size small and they're $29.99 and they fit perfectly usually I'd have to go for a medium but these actually fit amazingly and I also really appreciate this 
if you wear tailored pants you know this is like a massive ick when your the crossover of the fabric sticks out so this is actually curved underneath as you can can you tell so it doesn't stick out this bit is completely hidden so it doesn't show which is chef's kiss i really enjoyed that detail i don't think i've ever noticed that on pants before but yeah as you can see it's not in line with this so this is hidden and it doesn't stick out awkwardly like this do you get what i mean when you wear pants and it sticks out randomly anyway love these 30 pounds for a pair of really good straight leg pants they do also give me very much the same vibe as the ones that i have on right now but just not as thick but I think these pants with this jumper, a shirt on underneath, a leather jacket over the top, perfect for a work outfit as well. I just really think, again, you need these pair of pants. When I put them on, I did gasp because I didn't think they were going to be this good because they don't look like anything from here, but on, they look incredible. They have like a really nice wide um, waistband and thick belt loops which again I really appreciate I really appreciate better structured and better detailing on pants so yeah fab I then picked up this bodysuit now this is Chev's webs in a nutshell I love a bodysuit I love like a corset sort of style top I love them purely for the fact that if you are going out somewhere and you don't really know what to wear a bodysuit and like a tailored pair of pants and then any jacket like a long coat or a leather jacket or whatever jacket that you have just always looks like you've put so much effort in and that is my that's my thing that's my steez I look like I've tried so hard but really I haven't but it also doesn't make you look try hard do you know what I mean it's like very minimal effort but it's amazing i love this neckline i think it's so flattering the ruching also just like is an extra added bonus it fits in incredibly but i am gonna size down in this but this in a small and it was 25.99 i am gonna go down a size purely because i don't have the facilities for this if you have a fuller chest this would look incredible on you i just i think it genuinely would look amazing on anybody if you are smaller on your chest i definitely would say size down just so it sits a bit more flush to you and gives you that added bit of shape this gave me like the nicest looking like shaped waist it looks incredible and i was thinking this over this with the jumper underneath the corset over the top and then tailored pants Again, for a modest way to style this outfit. Obviously, if you want to, you can wear it without the top underneath. You can do a sheer top underneath. Obviously for winter, but a hoe never gets cold. That is always my motto. I don't care how cold I am, I will wear my nice outfit. But yeah, you could even do a turtleneck under this to do like a more casual day-to-day -day vibe. But yeah, for the smaller members of the itty bitty titty committee i would say size down just so it again like i said it sits flush i did do the little shake forward test nothing came out it wasn't dipping and it wasn't exposing anything but i think i would just like it to be a bit more tighter and to give me more of that waist illusion that i do not possess now i put off this order purely to wait for this to come back in stock and thankfully it came back in stock like a random size came back in as within like an hour so it was absolutely fine and none of the other stuff sold out but it's this brown satin shirt now it looks like nothing but it gives me very much jacquemus vibes or sorry it's jacquemus isn't it jacquemus i don't think i could say it with my sore throat anyway so it has this mini little flap here my thought process was that you could basically get some um fabric tape 
that kind of like it's kind of like double-sided like sticky tape you just kind of iron it together and you could put that in and then you could because the buttons are hidden underneath as well you could DIY this and fashion a sort of Jacquemus style top you could get like a nice brooch or a really large safety pin obviously you don't want to make a hole in this so um, I would be careful where you put it try and get it in between the actual stitching etc but this is beautiful I'm obsessed with this I think this is a really good like Christmas party outfit but this in a size small and it was 29.99 it does also come with matching trousers which I love a co-ord like I said it's putting an outfit together that makes it look like you've tried so hard but really you haven't but also you just look good and you don't look like you've made way too much effort the only thing I'm not impressed about with these pants is the waistband I mean it doesn't mean I'm gonna send them back but yeah the only thing I'm not impressed with is the waistband I think it's a bit shoddy so disappointed in the actual like craftsmanship of the waistband I feel like they could have just been a nice like tailored pant sort of vibe a little zip they could have been a bit better constructed than this as you can see just me holding it they kind of cave in because it literally is just a massive piece of elastic Kind of like maternity pants this would be amazing if you were pregnant around the christmas holiday i cater for everybody but I, I don't know i feel like this would be oh right i'm not pregnant anyway yeah it's just obviously one sheet of fabric on elastic a little bit disappointed um, I also would have preferred them to be a lot more high-waisted. I personally don't like to see my belly button. Mm -mm -mm. I just, I just, I hate belly buttons. I never used to have like this belly button fear, but since I had surgery and they had to go through my belly button, it makes me like, I mean, I have always hated the idea of people having their belly button pissed it always goes through me I'm like mm. like you're just left with a hole though if you don't want it anymore it's sending me anyway I love them though they're so flattering I just love this color this is always my favorite color to go to in autumn winter I feel like you can style these again on their own you can do like an oversized shirt etc this jumper even and the shirt underneath the pants vibes yeah i'm just a bit disappointed with the actual waistband and the construction of them and it's not a shares webs haul literally without a sweatsuit so i picked this one up but i think you can already tell that the tones are completely different these are actually styled together so i'm super confused as to what's happened here i am confused i don't know whether i've just been sent a wrong pair of pants idea for this outfit was for a pair of dunks that I have because I have them in this like oxblood burgundy colour that would match this perfectly so I had the idea of this with the dunks and then with like a long coat over the top but this is disappointing I don't know what's happening here I don't know why you would make a set and they don't match this is that grey mall with like a black speck going through and this is just grey mall. It's not making any sense to me, it's not computing, I'm not impressed. Got the jumper in a size medium and that was 19 .99. And then for the joggers I got a size small and they were 19 .99. But the joggers are most definitely going back, that may be the only thing going back apart from I am exchanging the corset. I mean. This was a really successful, also not so successful for my bank account because I want everything. That is everything from my Zara haul. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your favorite piece down below and let me know if you want to see me kind of fashion slash DIY this into the Jacquemus top just to give you some inspiration. Yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye.